On Friday, the FDA announced an immediate ban of the popular e-cigarette Juul. It made national headlines because it could potentially affect the entire vaping industry. But for local stores like Vintage Vapor, the ruling has little to no impact on their day to day. As stores around Billings remove Juul products from their shelves, it's still business as usual for many vape stores in the community. It doesn't really affect us too much just because we don't sell Juul. Again, they're, they're sold by Big Tobacco and we just don't deal with Big Tobacco products here. Um, I'm sure a lot of other businesses that were really heavy in the Juul product, I'm sure it's affecting them just a little bit, but as far as us, it doesn't affect us. Juul is the biggest name in the industry, and now that they've fallen, what does this do to the market? I think it's going to shift more towards the disposable market um, or people getting into bigger devices and stuff like that. Um, again, Juul was just a small portion of that market, but they were one of the most well-known um, because of the advertising that they had done. They were targeted because it's viewed as one of the largest contributors to the growing issue of kids under the age of 18 becoming addicted to vaping because of the flavor choices. Vintage Vapor says they do their due diligence to ensure they aren't contributing to the issue. We're not catering to, to the kids. It's never been about that, you know, people like their flavors. That's what they want to continue with, you know. Um, it's unfortunate that the kids are getting their hands on them, you know, and we do our best here to prevent that 100%. As the ethics of the industry come into focus, Oshner has this to say. If people do their proper research and look at the, the right reports and stuff and not what everybody's telling you and actually do your research, you'll notice that, you know, your, your mind will be changed. In Billings, Phil Van Pelt, MTN News.